know? Yeah. And now we're about to have some of the better matches in the bracket. And I want to talk about the bracket a little bit. Yeah. Because we have a stacked one. If you guys don't know about TMT, TMT, uh, this it says week 66 on there. Um, it's actually way more than that if you include the offline <laughs> this version. This is probably like week 200 something. This is, yeah, TMT is one of the longest running series in the Smash community. But it's really in a weird way week two. We've yeah. reset the numbers a bunch of times. But in a weird way, it's week two because this is um, week two of FlyQuest supporting TMT. <laughs> Uh, in the, I would call, the Kadoran era of TMT, the online era of TMT. Yeah. And uh, that's, that's super exciting uh, because um, now we have a prize pool for, yeah. the, for, this, for this weekly mm -hmm. online event, which um, means that we're going to have top players on this stream pretty much every week. Yeah. Uh, you know, until the end of time. You know, until they're, they're kinda, how long we're doing it. They're kind of dumb for not taking advantage of it. Any player that's not in this right now, because here's what I say, right? And I'm just gonna say, there is nothing going on for like six weeks. Yes. There's Double nothing. down got delayed. Double down got delayed. So there's Smash Camp, which I'm going to, you're going yeah, to. It's gonna be a great time. Going to Waffs event. Waffs event too. Okay, so there's some stuff, some stuff on land. But nothing major. Nothing. Okay. Well, I like Smash Camp. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna poo poo those events. Those things are great, right? But the point is, is that especially if you're East Coast, there is like, where else do you have to prove yourself? Kador just won Player of the Month for Melee Stats, mm -hmm. which is a thing I really like. I think they, they should keep doing that. Yeah. If you're going to make a name for yourself, make your name yourself at uh, TMT. Yeah. Because at this very moment, it is the thing that Melee's got going on. I think like, I close period. with this player here. Because he won the last TMT. He won the last TMT over, Ac uh, over Ginger and Nun. As far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned, Aklo's the best player in East Coast. Who's, who's better than him? And he's been dominating uh, nightclubs recently. Oh, also nightclubs. Nightclubs are dope. But we got kind of a banger here. KGH versus Zuppy. Falco. He also went Falco last week against Foxes specifically. Like, he went Fox against, like, other matchups. But against Fox, I, you know, something tells me he's not the biggest fan of the Fox hit So KGH. here's the thing I find um, weird about Kalindi. And I love Kalindi. Kalindi is one of the most respected players in Melee. Wow. <laughs> Whenever Kalindi plays the other Spacey, all of a sudden Kalindi grows a, a deep and profound hatred for the other one. <laughs> so, for example, Kalindi was first a Falco player. Yes. And then switched to, to Fox, and the Twitter name Spot.Shine is there for a reason. Yeah. Kalindi immediately, once switching to Fox, hated Falco. <laughs> and then what's interesting now is that Kalindi plays Falco now, and if you go on, on, on uh, his stream, he just fades on Fox all day. Yeah. He says Fox is brain dead. And he says, oh, I just don't respect your character. <laughs> and I'm like, Kalindi, you played Fox, you're a legendary Fox for like five plus years. You're one of the most iconic Foxes to ever play the game. Yeah, it's a it's, 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 it's like all of a sudden he plays the other side and he sees he sees the major. He sees the he sees all the flaws <laughs> immediately. He, you know, it, the probably the best part is that you have an excuse if you win or lose, win or lose. Like when you win, it's like, oh yeah, I know my own character very well. But if you lose, it's like, yeah, my own character's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> And that's probably what he's thinking right now. It's like, oh my god, Fox is so broken. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, I can't edge guard this guy. This ledge dash is so broken, dude. But if that's what is actually going through Kalindi's mind, then uh, winning's gonna be pretty tough. But still a pretty good game right now. Uh, got some lasers out. That back air hit side platform? Uh, uh well. It's pretty uh, rare on Dreamland. Am I crazy? Short out back air by Falco just hit Fox on side platform on Dreamland. That's not normal, right? Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's definitely not normal. <laughs> that should have been an easy edge guard. And I guess Zuppy showing a little respect. Definitely could have. Fox probably felt it. Maybe I can't. Yeah. All right. So, laser grab. We got control, but misses. Something that I've never seen Kalini miss in his entire life. I mean, like, it's been a long time since he made Falco. So, obviously, it's... like, the basic things. Like, that's the yeah, that's going to be the first thing that goes. Yeah, because it's worth noting that actually I think like the last TMT KGH did play with like against Zup. Oh no, Aqua, Aqua, where uh, KGH tried the Falco, got 3 0 and Zuppy, you know, almost as good as Aqua. Uh, this is a note for anyone who's watching. Uh, the Fox is at 204%. <laughs> just want to point that out. Whenever whenever they complain about Fox fragility, just want to. Just want to 204% stock out. Every once in a while, it doesn't happen very often, but... Yeah, I mean, Kalindi to be fair, like, Kalindi has dropped many, a lot of things. Many opportunities, of course. But, like, that's the punishing thing, is that if you don't it's, kill If you fox, don't, then the high percent fox is like a... It's an unkillable god. It's a messiah. Yeah. 
Okay, oh, nice force oh, smash, ending it early. Mix, but doesn't react or position well with the side B, and uh, he's probably gonna see. Oh, and up tilt was a little too much. Kind of got to get out of that situation. It's possible by land on your head. Yeah, I, I actually feel like Kalindi like had the right reads, had knew the right positioning. It's just like the edge guards, man. I felt like he dropped like five edge guards that if he hit all of them, he would have won. Maybe for sure. I actually think uh, a smaller stage can help Kalindi a lot. Um, Do you think so? I feel like Kalindi is the type of player that like wants to hang wants back. To, wants to wants to play it slow a little bit. Yeah, especially since like, he's trying to adapt. You don't want to. Well, like, how about this? A middle ground. So, some someone that's a little bit smaller than Dreamland, but uh, not so much that uh, gets overwhelmed. Right? Yeah, and this like, actually feels perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's important note to with Battlefield compared to Dreamland is that it's easier to edge guard on Battlefield. Oh, as you see now on the Fox but, side. But it's on both sides, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, no. <laughs> Yeah, so like, I mean, Falco, generally speaking, he's gonna be recovering from the bottom more often. Like here, oh, okay, well. The reads! Hard read. <laughs> I like that. I was gonna say that, like, if Falco is edge guarding Fox that, that does not have a double jump below stage, he has a way easier time in Battlefield than the Dream Uh But, you know, when he's above stage, I have to make a hard read. Look at Kalindi's Falco move. Oh, but it's getting clipped, missing a. Ledge dash, that was probably like a five Galen ledge dash. It's like, eh. <laughs> but. Continue? Wow, gets that conversion. It was impressive, but unfortunately, it was not getting it up. But that up till call out. Oh, it really things. is the basic <laughs> stuff. That is, that's the crazy part. Mm -hmm. You know, they, what they don't appreciate from, from Mango's Falco is that he actually does not miss, miss like the that. basic stuff. The basic stuff is actually the most important tech skill. Guess that still. Mm -hmm. People ask me why I find the most impressive thing about Mango, and I, that's the first thing I tell him is that he actually does not ever mess up. Yeah, consistency. Yeah. Chudat was also really good about that. Mm -hmm. um, I actually think Chudat is one of the most uh, one of the most technical players of basic tech skill. Yes. I, I I watched that guy for like 20 years, and he didn't miss a wave dash. I, like I've never seen anything like it. Mm -hmm. And man. Oh, misses the ledge cancel. But he had sent the right way, but <gasps> that was clean though. The ledge dash would turn around up tilt. Yeah, you could always count on Kalindi on at least hitting that once. Gets the ledge dash and Zumpy does nothing to it uh, on the edge cancel. Ooh, oh man, once again, it's like he's barely missing this, but he should not miss. No! Good DI for Zumpy to go on stage. Gets this back here. And this should be a stock if he just grabs ledge! I feel like we've been calling it like five times by now that like Please! <laughs> you, you should you, you should like take a perfect glint turn around up to left for a ledge dash, but you can't grab a ledge. Please! It really do be like that, but despite all of those mistakes, you know, Kalindi is a top player. He's he's know what it's like to miss things all the time. Spock's no less <gasps> Falco. Oh, this is this is bad. Yeah. <sighs> You're dead. At 21, wasn't it? Died at a low percent, and when you get double sh like fun fact, double shine in the corner is just brutal. It's like it's not the first shine that kills you; it's the second shine. Yeah, because like it sends you more at the top at a, like a more favorable spike angle, which is why like you see that double shine optimization. You know, it's funny that uh, Fox has stopped doing it. Like Javi was the the Fox that really invented that, like made it really popular. But then they don't do it as much as they used to do. I like how you said that as like we were watching a Someone Mango video. It, but yeah. <laughs> uh, like, but like, very, like, Geo took two stocks of Mango just doing a double shot. You're shine. right, you're right. But in general, it felt like at least for a few years, it, it didn't. Um, you it's know, funny because, like, it, it wasn't that common. It's funny because, like, I remember, like, one of the, like, the notable thing that Armada did of his box is that he double shine all the time or up to double shine. Up to double shine is really strong, yeah. Um, I, I really like horizontal combos on Falco because he dies at 4%, 13%! <laughs> Why would you switch off this character, Kalindi? Don't you want 13% kills? You're working so hard right now. <laughs> you know, I've seen a lot of fiction tweets where he, he tweets exactly the sentiment. It's, it's funny, Falcon's right? A small <laughs> business, hardworking guy, and then Fox is an IRS. His IRS. <laughs> <laughs> give me your, give me your profits right now. Give yeah. me your 13% profits. Oh my gosh. And uh, yeah, he, he, Kalindi's trying to run. But you can't you can't ever evade the IRS. It seems like no, the tax man will always get you. <laughs> the tax man is always gonna get you. Uh, you know, when they say spacey tax, this is what they mean. Oh, see, so tried to get the, the shine there. Actually, gets the jump still. Zuppy all over Kalini. This one is very much over. Mm. But you never know. You never truly know. I mean, like Falco, secretly a comeback character. That's what Mango says. I always say, oh my gosh. 
I always say if, uh, if Melee was a one stock game, Falco would, would be the best character. Yeah. Because he yes. just suicide dare every yeah. time. <laughs> I was like, you know, uh, well, good stuff to Zuppy closing it down. But yeah. um, when I saw like Sammy's singles was like being the new wave, immediately what I thought off the top of my head is like, isn't Mark and Falco like the two best characters now? Yeah, a SD down air is just yeah. too insane. Like, edge guarding is so much easier. Like, the moment <laughs> they don't have a double jump off stage, it's like, I could just really That's just it. put off dare every That's time. It. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, being a glass cannon doesn't matter anymore, mm -hmm. right? Because now you you uh, you also can do a back of them because you can just SD dare. Because mm -hmm. they're a glass cannon anytime they're off stage too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's not what happened. Uh, Kalindi got shied. It's like Kalindi knows what he's doing. It's just he's not one with Falco yet. Um, no. Um, actually, I. That was more winnable than I thought it would be. Yeah, because like, when you think about it, Kalindi's only been playing Falco for like a, like a couple months. At yeah, most. at most. Like in terms of picking the character back up again, mm -hmm. obviously uh, used to main the character and is just generally a very good player. So gonna be good, but like not really focusing on Falco for for a few years. So it's not you wouldn't expect that Kalindi would win that set, but um, it was actually a little bit closer than I thought it would be. So yeah, not so bad. Like I saw good decision makings and Kalindi had so much setups. And had like okay plan B's, but plan B is gonna like that can't be your only like route to success because like yeah. you know he had like an easy dare spike, reversed it accidentally. That's something you only know like if you've been playing this character for years. And like Falco, he's like one of the most complex characters in melee. Like you, yeah. it does not take merely a couple months to just pick up the character. And play. Like take Fiction for example. When he was first picking up Falco, he was losing to like Man Ray. Because like he just like did not know. Man like, raise a cannon. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a cannon. I like this game. That game. And that was like that was like a year and a half ago. And ever since then he's improved like tenfold. But that mm -hmm. just goes to that speaks volumes how hard it is to like just pick up Falco right off the bat. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Um, yeah, I mean it's hard to pick up any character off the bat. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but I, like I but Falco is so punishing because like one mistake you make. You right, because it's a lot. There's I would say there's a lot of micro situations. Which you've got to learn. Mm -hmm. There's just like a lot of little interactions, which if you don't know it, you're gonna get owned, and uh, that's gonna. Oh, be my, my Falco gets owned all the time by yeah. like anybody that's like you know top 100 level or I don't know, like top 300 level, I'd say. Uh, they 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 destroy my Falcos. I don't know what's going on, and like and they just kill me. They just like because like sure like Fox shine spiking the Falco was cheap, but let's be honest, like, every character can do that. <laughs> yeah, every character has some way of killing Falco at early percents. Yeah. Um, which is, uh, which is a thing, but of course the character has a lot of tools.